Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahawa. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The Thamash Nakabala is a Kumi Shah Sharalika that were honest, the elders of Israel being our apostles. And the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahab, Labach, Hersha, Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson by our Chacharash, Shah, Amaf, and the Holy Spirit of Truth. <sighs> and um, I don't have a specific title just yet, but um, the topic of this video is going in on the sudden destruction that's going to come upon this place. All right. Um, while everybody is caught up in their own bullshit ass life, the Lord is about to bring. Um, destruction upon this place suddenly, man. All right, like a thief in the night. I'm gonna start off with this scripture in the book of uh, First Thessalonians. I'm gonna just start at the top. First Thessalonians chapter five and verse one. But of those times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace, and so it said, "What I don't have to write onto these, I don't have to um, write these things onto you. Why? Because you should, you know, you know that how the Lord is coming. You know the times that we live in, and we, you know what's about to take place. Why? Because you're watching. Okay, you're watching. You see the coming destruction. All right. Why? Because you're measuring the times diligently within itself, as it says in the book of Second Edges, the ninth chapter." Measured out of time diligently in itself. And when you see part of the signs come to pass, you shall know it's the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we, it, it's not going to catch us by surprise. Okay? Because we're looking for it. All right? We're anticipating it. We're measuring the times by what? By lining up the prophecies, by lining up the signs. Well, what's going on in current events? All right? And see, it's only a matter of time. Uh, uh, before all hell breaks out loose, and Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior, makes his glorious return. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right? When they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction cometh upon them. That might be the title of the video. Sudden destruction, right? Cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. So, a woman with child, she don't know exactly, she don't know the exact day, the exact time, right? When she's about to give that, when she's about to give birth, they have a rough estimate, right? Just like we do. It, it, the Lord should be coming back any day now, man. All right? A hey, Lord will within the next year. But no man knows the exact hour, Right? Same with the woman that's pregnant. They give her a due date, October 20th. She may give birth on October 1st. She may give birth on October 30th. Okay? That water breaks uh, out of nowhere. All right? She could be at work. She, she could be driving uh, uh, in her car going to get a goddamn latte. She could be at home sleep, right? It's the same thing with the return of the Lord, right? It's going to happen out of nowhere. Even these plagues that's going to come upon this place. It's going to happen out of nowhere. As travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. But and, and when a woman starts giving birth, what great pains come upon her. As it says in Book of Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, and you're not going to be able to escape the pains, just like these women now cannot escape the the sorrows that they go through and the pain that they have to endure when giving birth. Right? The only ones that's going to escape is the ones that's been seeking and serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in truth and in sincerity, in fear, uh, 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 faith, and trembling. Okay. It says, but she brethren are not in darkness that the day shall overtake you as a thief. So it's going to come upon these people unaware, right? As a thief in the night because they're in darkness. They weren't blessed with this knowledge. Okay. They wasn't given this light. It says in the book of Peter, 
We have escaped the pollutions of this world through the knowledge of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Also in Peter, it says that the Lord has taken us out of darkness into his marvelous light. So being in his light that day is not uh, 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 going to overtake us as a thief. Ye are not all the, it's like it, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, it's like it, therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. We got to stay on our watch and we got to stay sober. Meaning what? We got to stay clear minded. All right. It's not talking about not drinking. That's lawful according to the Bible in moderation. All right. It's talking about having a clear mind. Knowing the times that we're living in. Now is not the time to be trying to build in this world. OK. It says in the book of um, in the book of Ecclesiastes is a time for everything under the sun, a time to build, a time to uh, uh, break down. A time to hate, a time to love, a time of war, a time for, for peace. So being in the light, we know what time it is. We're in the time of the Lord bringing this bitch down. Okay? So we need to be investing in the next in the next world to come. We need to be investing in the kingdom of heaven. All right? By doing the simple things that Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai has asked us to do. And enduring the hell that we must go through. Through much tribulation shall they enter into the kingdom. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. And for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Right. So the two pieces of armor that it just mentioned was the, uh, the breastplate and the helmet. Breastplate of faith, helmet of hope of salvation. Right. Which hope and faith is synonymous. Hebrews 11. So this faith has to be our shield, man. For Yahweh have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay? So we got to keep that in our mind, man. No matter what we going through, he brought me out of darkness for a reason, man. Into his marvelous light for a reason. Okay? He's given me this ministry for a reason. It says in Corinthians, therefore we have, um, we have received, seeing that we have this ministry, we have received mercy, therefore we faint not. That's the reason why I'm in this truth. That's the reason why I'm, I'm participating in this ministry. Because he's showing me mercy. All right. Because he has not appointed me onto wrath. All right. But to obtain salvation through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer. The only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. All right. That's, that's it on that. There's, there's a, a lot more on that. But uh, I'm going to continue to move on. This is the book of... Second Ezra, chapter 16, and verse 37. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son. With two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. So these plagues ain't going to slow down, man. The Lord turned up in 2023 and he ain't going to turn down in 20, uh, in 2022. And he ain't going to turn down, uh, slow down in 2024, man. Things are going to continue to speed up, man. He's shortening the days for his elect's sake, um, who I hope to be a part of. Because only the elect is going to escape. Only the elect is going to make it up out of here. It says, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Right. The whole world is going to get hit with plagues. But America is going to get hit with the most plagues. And this pl and it's all going to happen on the sudden. See, the shit that's happening right now, that's the build up. OK, that's the birth pains, the things that's going on around the world right now. Those are just the birth pains, the beginning of the birth birth pains. See, when a woman is giving birth, right, then uh, uh, what do they call it? Contractions. OK, they're painful in the beginning. But they get more and more painful as you get closer to the birth of that child. All right. They get more painful. You have less time in between to recover. Right. In between contractions, you have less time to catch your breath. Right. And the Lord is using that analogy for the plagues that's going to come upon this earth. Oh, my people hear my word. 
make you ready to thy battle. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So the, the shit that's about to happen on this earth, man, we can't even fathom a time like no other. Right? It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. That he is the elect. Okay? He's going to be saved out of it. He is that what? Ezekiel 9 and 4. The ones that have the, the wall placed upon them. Right? The mark of exemption. All right? So let's go from there. This is the book of 2nd Ezra. Chapter 6 and verse 22. It says, And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Shit's going to happen on an instant, man. They call that panic buying. And we've seen a glimpse of that in 2020, right? The stores that you were so used to going to that always had everything that you needed. Now, the shelves are empty. Now, you can't find certain things for days and even weeks, right? The water was being rationed out. You can only take two. Uh, uh, um, cases of water, right? You only get one thing of t toilet tissue, okay? And that was just a that was just a practice run. In the times that we coming in, those storehouses not gonna be refilled. There's not gonna be no trucks moving to bring you your goods. All right, so you can get your damn Starbucks fix. All right, it's not gonna be none of that. All right, we're at the end of the end and the trumpet shall give a sound which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. The alarm system, man. OK, so the, the so the all hell is going to break loose on the sudden and even the nuclear missiles is going to uh, be shot off on the sudden. Right. At that time, shall friends fight one against another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein and. Um, yep, it's like the springs of the fountains shall stand still and in three hours they shall not run. So, hey, out of nowhere, yo, you, can, you ain't even got running water. Out of nowhere, your refrigerator ain't even cold no more. That food in your freezer going bad. Out of nowhere, you ain't even got no lights in your house, no heater, right? Or no air conditioning in your crib. Back to the stone ages, man. On the sudden, Right? And people's not going to know how to act. All right. Verse 25. Whosoever remaineth from all these things. Oh, it's like from all these which I have told thee shall escape. And see my salvation and the end of your world. We're at the end of this place, man. All right. I did a video last week entitled the end of the world. But Lord's will, I'll probably go back and, um, and, and go back over that topic, man. All right. It says, and the men that are received shall see it. Who have not tasted death from their birth and the heart of the inhabitant shall be changed and turn into another meeting them new bodies, man. All right. The, getting out of these vile bodies. Right. These bodies of death, the chains of darkness into a body likened unto Yahweh Shai's fashion, like unto Yahweh Shai's glorious body. Right. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith this is what we see happening. This is what we see taking place. Evil is being put out. Evil is being exposed. All right. The devil is being put on blast. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Again, this is taking place now. We're at the end of this world and the beginning of it that follow it. And I don't want to desire we endure. We got a great reward coming on to us, man. Cast not away therefore your confidence which have great recompense of reward. He that shall come, will come, and will not tarry. Alright? Let's go from there to the book of Isaiah. Uh, let me get this in Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 7. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad, right? The nations have drunk enough for wine and followed after the ways of America. And now they're all bugging out. They don't want their women to be sluts and driving around causing confusion. Right? Being feminists. Twerking on light poles and shit. They don't want that shit no more, man. Right? Verse 8. They're Bati boys and shit walking around. 
right? Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Babylon is suddenly fallen, right? And destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. Ain't nothing to heal this place, man. Okay? It says, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. You can't make America great again. What's going to make America great is nuclear fire. Sounds great to me. Forsake her and let us go everyone to his own country. We got to forsake this place mentally. We got to forsake this place spiritually. That's not talking literally. You niggas ain't got no country to go to. That ain't telling you to go back to Africa. That's not our country. It ain't telling you to go back to Israel. You ain't got no power in Israel. The only way we can be delivered is if Yahweh Shai comes and saves us on so-called UFOs, so-called UAPs being the chariots of Israel. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even unto the skies when the time of this place being judged. All right. And if you don't want to be judged with her, you got to depart. All right. We got to arise and depart. This is not our rest. It is polluted. It will destroy you with the sore destruction. All right. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 47. And I'll start at verse. I'll start at one and jump down. Come down and sit in the dust. O virgin daughter of Babylon. Showing you it's not talking about ancient Babylon. It's talking about the same Babylon that John the Revelator seen in the book of Revelations. Right. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. This place is using, losing its pomp. Okay. Now everybody's looking at America like a dirty bitch. This is the book of Isaiah. I'm jumping down. Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 6. I was wroth with my, peop with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient. Hast thou verily heavily laid thy yoke? Thou, it's like it. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. You, you didn't think... You was ever going to go down. You think the Lord was with you. You think the Lord was just going to let you continue in your wickedness for eternity. That your houses will continue forever. Right? You think you really think in your in your heart of hearts. Right? Like they say. That you that you're going to uh, continue to be a pedal. Right? A chester. Continue to uh, 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 pollute the air. Pollute the water. Pollute the food. To be a little weirdo freak on the earth experimenting on the Lord's creation. Right? But you got it all fucked up, man. It says, I, it says, Salakia, and thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Therefore, here now, it, now we're in the latter end of all the shit that you've been doing. Therefore, here now this, Thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly. Speaking of America, man. These people uh, uh, live as carelessly and given to pleasures. The do art thou will spirit is heavy, heavy in this place. That Balenciaga spirit is heavy in fucking America, man. All right. That sayest in thy heart, I am and none else beside me. The pride of these people. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day, on the sudden. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection. For the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. That yeah, all this different, all this witchcraft. Okay. And sorcery that's going on. is Satanism. You got an after school Satan club. Right? Look that up. Thou has so you got a damn transformer telling your children, it's, uh, telling your sons it's okay to be a girl. Right? They teaching your first grader anal sex and masturbation. Right? And you think the Lord's not about to destroy your ass, man? Thy what your 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 sins have reached the heavens. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it have perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else beside thee. It's like beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it rises. So this place just going to get smacked with plagues on the instant, on the sudden. And you're not even going to know where the fuck it came from. And mischief shall fall upon thee. 
thou shalt not be able to put it off. And you ain't going to be able to do nothing to escape the judgment of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. All right? Going to come upon your ass suddenly, man. Like a thief in the night. Like we just read, it ain't going to be nothing you can do to stop it. You're not going to be able to put it off. You're not going to be able to escape. Okay? This is the book of Proverbs 3 and 25. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. Right? So the desolation of the wicked going to be sudden. Right. And we don't need to be afraid when all hell breaks out suddenly. Because we got to trust in what's written, man. No matter how things look, things are going to look bad. Things are going to look hopeless. And all we can do is hope like Abraham against hope, believed in hope. Right. It says, therefore, Asalakia, that was it on that. Um, I'll read this is Proverbs 6 and 15. Um, let me start out. It's Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 12. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a forward mouth. He winketh with his eyes. He speaketh with his feet. He teacheth with his fingers. And that's this devil, this wicked ass devil. It's wicked ass hand signs. Right. And symbolisms. Okay. It's, the, it's, it's describing a naughty person. It's describing a wicked man. Forwardness is in his heart. He deviseth mischief continually. He soweth discord. Right? And that's what he did. He sowed discord with that whole uh, Kyrie Irving, Kanye, uh, Ron, Ronald Dalton situation, man. Trying to cause confusion. Okay? We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. But it just backfired anyway. Verse 15, here's the point. Therefore shall his, the wicked, therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. Suddenly this devil's going to be broken without remedy. And all you niggas that's joined with this devil and the mentality of this devil, right? You wicked ass Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans walking after the ways of the wicked, Right? Your destruction is going to come upon you suddenly as well. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 9. It says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things. So they, want, they don't want to hear the truth. Right. They don't want to hear the right things. They want to hear lies. They want to hear things that make them feel good. The shit that the pastor's telling. Yeah, it's OK to eat pork. Come as you are, just as long as you tie, you don't have to stop smoking cigarettes. You don't have to stop being a bitch. Right. A sodomite. That's what they want to hear, man. OK, but that's not what the Bible says. All right. It says, it says, lest ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish in the book of Luke. Right? In Isaiah 55, it says, let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous his thoughts, and the Lord will greatly pardon. That's how you receive the tender mercies of David. That's how you be received the Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? It says, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. They don't want to deal with the. They don't want to deal with the Lord, right? It says wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise his, because you despise this word, and trust in oppression and perverseness, and stay there, Ron. They trust in oppression. They trust in the devil. Niggas can't wait till twenty twenty four to vote. Niggas, the, the same niggas that voted for Joe, Joe Biden didn't do shit for you, right? Can't wait till 2024. Well, hopefully next election we'll get someone better. We'll get better options. Trust and oppression and stay there on. Verse 13. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall 
whose breaking cometh at an instant. So like it, who breaking, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. All right. It's like a wall, right? A wall that got a crack in it or a dam that has a crack in it. Let's get that in Isaiah, Isaiah, thir Isaiah 30 and 13. I'm going to read it in another translation. Isaiah, it's like I switch over to a different app uh, to my blue letter. It is Isaiah chapter 30 and 13 in the NLT. It says this sin will be come will become for you like a high wall cracked and bulging that collapses suddenly in an instant in an instant, man. OK. Oh, is that Luke 13 that I quoted? Let you repent. You shall all likewise perish. You read up. He talks about the uh, people uh, uh, in the Tower of Siloam, right? The Tower of Siloam just collapsed on their ass, okay? Just collapsed on them in the instant. And he said, if you don't repent, if you don't repent it's, you're going to have the same judgment. You're going to perish the same way, suddenly, instantly, okay? Um... This is the NLT in the Isaiah 30 and 13. Calamity will come upon you suddenly. Again, this is talking about Israelites, wicked Israelites that don't want to hear the law of the Lord, right? That don't want to take heed to his messengers, his prophets, right? That's saying, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits, right? That don't want to take heed to the words of the Lord through his seers. It says, calamity will come upon you suddenly like a bulging wall that bursts and falls in an instant it will collapse and come crashing down everything that you that you your whole world is going to come crashing down right in simplest uh, uh terms your whole world going to come crashing down in an instant in a sudden unaware the scriptures say fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites that's in the book of isaiah 33 okay i only got a few more minutes and i got to wrap up is Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 14. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness have surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly. That's the one that's going to be saved from the sudden destruction. He that despiseth the gain of oppressions, that shaketh his hands from holding of bribes, that stoppeth his ears from the hearing of blood, and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil, he shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given him. His waters shall be sure. Thine eyes, who is this speaking of? A man that's walking righteously. A man that's speaking uprightly, the truth, 100% truth. That I shall see this, the king in his beauty. They shall behold the land that is, a far, that is very far off. That salvation and going back to the, uh, uh, to the land of Israel, man, and setting the world in order. All right, so I'm going to get this and then uh, wrap it up. Sirach, Sirach chapter 5 and verse 7. It says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. In thy security. Right. That shit was straight. You thought shit was sweet. You thought you was going to. Hey, same with you niggas. Got the mentality of Esau. You thought you was going to continue in your wickedness. Building up. Trying to build up, uh, um, you're trying to get your real, real estate license, right? You're trying to build up generational wealth with a dollar that's collapsing. I don't want to be broke and woke, right? Your destruction is going to come suddenly, man. All right? Um, so lucky. Let me move my car. All right? So it said, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Put not off from day to day. All right? Every day is another day to atone, to, to atone. Every day is another day to get closer to Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. Alright? So, that's pretty much it, man. Hey, the scriptures also say in Sirach, let a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord. His house shall soon be overthrown. 
Okay? So I haven't said, Lord willing, that was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rechach Horash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rechach Horash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. Which is peace and love to elect of Israel. Shalom Achim, you brothers keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh and redemption is near than we believe. Shalom.